In this video, we're going to show a new feature within expense management within Dynamics 365 for finance and supply chain management called expense report reimagined. Now to enable this, you have to go to the feature management workspace. And if you search for one for the word reimagined, here it is, and you can enable it. All right, now this feature primarily exists to make ease of entry of expense reports. But the first thing we're going to go look at is actually something related to setup. Now within the setup of the expense management module, we have expense field visibility. And if I open this up, what this allows me to do is to make certain fields required, recommended, optional, or do not display. For example, I'm going to go to my internal note and I'm going to go ahead and make this required. Further down below, under airline, I'm going to go to my ticket number and make this optional. And my ticket class, I'm going to make recommended. And we'll see how those come into play as we go ahead and enter expense reports. But now you have a lot more flexibility in making these fields the way you want them to be without going through any form of customization. But the meat of this new feature is within the expense management workspace. And that really is to make life easier on those of us who are entering expense reports. Two nice features that you have is you can attach receipts and expenses without having to open an expense report first. So for example, let's say you're out for dinner, you get the receipt, you wanna go ahead and attach it. You can go ahead and do that. And you can see here, I've already attached a receipt, even though it's not tied to an expense report. I'm gonna do that later, but I'm gonna save myself a copy of this receipt so that I don't have to worry about losing that piece of paper. Same thing with my expenses. If I know that there's a certain expense that I'm going to incur and I don't want to forget to add it to my expense report, I can go ahead and do that right now. So for myself, when I travel internationally, I have to have a phone charge for international travel. And so I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm just gonna put in $10 and in my internal note, which I made required by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and say international, international phone charge. And I'll go ahead and save that. So what this allows me to do is to create expenses and receipts without having an expense report. So now the end of the week comes and I'm gonna go ahead and create my expense report. So I'll go ahead and hit new and I'll say this is for travel to international site. And you can see you have the option of adding all your unattached expenses and unattached receipts right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click create. And you can see we have this one right here and it has a green check, which is great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put in that meal. So I'll come in here and I will choose meals. And I'll say that was a $50 meal. And in my internal note, I'll say first night dinner. And I'll go ahead and press save. Now the nice thing is right here, we have a new piece called C policy. And so I have my red X and right by clicking this button, it'll tell me what my issue is. So receipts must be attached for expenses over $25. Fine by me. I simply go to my receipt section right here, click edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and click add receipts. I can get it directly from my computer or in my case, I'm gonna go ahead from my existing and press add. Now when I hit close, I will get my green check mark. Couple other things that I wanna highlight, new expense. I'm gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna choose hotel and I'll say that this is $500. And in my internal note, I'm gonna say Hilton stay. I can click save in new right here. So much quicker to add new expenses than it was in the prior version. And then here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose flights and I'm gonna choose 600. And this time I'm gonna intentionally leave my internal note blank. If I go ahead and hit save, you'll see right away, you'll get please enter all required fields and my internal note will be highlighted in red. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say flight to site and then I'm gonna click save and continue. And now I'm gonna once again, get my policy. So I'll go in here, but I did wanna highlight, see this ticket class that is now here because it was in my recommended. So I can say economy, and then I can click optional fields and it'll bring up any of the fields that I had marked as optional. So I'll go ahead and put in a ticket number. And then right below, I can go ahead under receipts 
And this time I'm going to add a receipt directly from my computer. So I'm going to click browse. And here's my airline. And I'll hit OK. And I'll hit close. And now I'm going to have another green check mark. And finally, I have my red X. And this time you can see that I have two policy violations. So not only do I not have a receipt, which is required for anything over $25, but my expense is not itemized. And the nice thing is right from within here, I can click actions and I can click itemize. So I can go ahead and under my subcategory, I can say my daily room rate was $200 for two nights. So that's four and up here, it keeps track. And on top of that, I had a room service charge for $100 one time. And so now I have a fully itemized hotel stay. And if I want to go ahead and add a receipt, same thing, I'm going to hit add and I will choose my hotel. And now the other last feature that I wanted to highlight, and you can probably already see this, is it's right here. You can see the full breakout right away. And you can see that I had my charge for my 25 itemization as well. This is probably something that an organization would not want to do. So I would go in here and I can click my receipts. And if I look at my select existing, I can choose the same one over and over again. And when I do that and I add my internal note of light to site, and then I can click save and continue. And you'll see that I got my one green check, so on and so forth. So that is the new feature for Expense Report Reimagined. Thank you for watching this video.